Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the Unity scripting tutorial. Uh, in this video we will be talking about instantiation. And instantiation is a pretty straightforward concept in Unity. All you need to do is have a blueprint and you use that blueprint to create multiple objects over time. Whenever you need a new one you just instantiate it and it's added to the scene. So first let's make our base object. So let's make a cube and maybe we want this cube to do something as soon as it's created so let's just make a quick script that makes it translate let's say from uh, to the right direction so right on the forward on the x-axis so in our scripts let's just make a quick script to do that so let's call that translate and let's attach that script to our cube and open it up so all this script is going to do is just transform.translate by, um, let's say, 10.0f times time dot delta time and then 0.0f and 0.0f. Now, if we go back to our G Unity and run this, as you can see, it just translates to the right side. So at least our object, when it's created, it will do something so we can see something happens once it pops into the scene. Okay, so to create a new prefab in Unity, and a prefab is pretty much just a blueprint, a way that Unity knows what kind of object you want to create. You just create your object inside any scene, and then all you would need to do is just drag it into the project panel. And there you go, now we have our prefab. And let's call that, um, well, cube is fine for now. So let's just leave it the way it is. So now that we have our prefab, we need to create a spawner script. That spawner script will just create um, cubes over time. And we will be using a coroutine to do that. So if you, want, if you don't know what a coroutine is, you can go back to the coroutine video on the channel and check that out. And uh, you can come back once uh, you see how it works. So let's create a spawner script. Let's call that spawner. But now, since we this cube is just our, our blueprint, we just need an empty game object to be our spawner. So let's create empty, and this will be our game object. So let's just call that a spawner. And let's attach the spawner script to it and then open up the spawner script. Now, to add a prefab to a script, all you, a prefab is pretty much a game object. So what we need to do is just create a public game object and call it um, prefab. There we go. Now, if we go back to Unity and click on our spawner, it should have the prefab uh, empty object right here so we just go to our prefabs and attach that to it and now we have access to our blueprint now what we need to do so to test it out let's just in the star function create one object so that we know that it works so to instantiate an object from a prefab in unity you just need to do game object dot instantiate and then give it the prefab that you want to instantiate which will be our m prefab uh, it will ask you for position and a rotation. So for the position, you can either give it a vector 3.0, which will spawn it right at the 0, 0, 0 of the world, or you can give it the transform.position, which will spawn it exactly where your spawner is. And then for the rotation, if you give it a quaternion.identity, this just means I don't want any rotation. So this, is given, this gives it a 0, 0, 0 rotation. So now that we have that in our start, let's go back to Unity and run this scene. And as you can see, it created one cube that started translating to the right. So let's say we want this spawner to keep spawning things over time. And this is a great way to use a coroutine because a coroutine fires and then it can wait for a specific amount of seconds to fire again. So let's see how we can go at doing this. So let's create an I enumerator and call it spawn 
and once we have that all we need is a loop so since we always want the spawner to keep working we can just say while true and that will make an infinite loop for us so every specific amount of time it will just keep firing so while true um, we want to instantiate a new prefab so we can do game object dot instantiate and then m prefab um, transform dot position so exactly the same thing in the start function and quaternion dot identity now that we finish that we just need to tell it yield return new and then wait for seconds and say 1.0 f now this what this will do is it's gonna keep spawning as long as the scene is running and it will wait for one second and then come back later so every one second this function will run and now all we need to do in the start instead of just spawning an object we just need to start the coroutine so start coroutine spawn and now that we have that we can go back to unity and we just need to run our scene and as you can see the spawner is working every one second it will be spawning a new object for us over and over again so that covers uh, a way to instantiate objects in unity and also a way to make spawners and keep spawning objects over time using a coroutine so if this was helpful uh, please leave your feedback or comments in the comment section thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time